This video instruction is for the last three circuit builder exercises in Unit 8, Chapters 15 and 16. Here's the instructions or the information given for uh, low voltage pilot duty motor control. Uh, we're going to use a 240 volt power supply, 240 to 24 volt transformer, step down transformer, 240 volt single phase motor, single pole, single throw switch, two pole contactor with a low voltage coil, that's important, and a fuse to protect the control circuit. So as a sequence, when power is applied to the transformer and the control switch is closed, the contactor coil will energize and the motor will operate. So I'm going to close the instructions. And here is the drawing um, with everything laid out. I've, I've pulled out the 240 volt power source, the transformer, the motor, the contactor, the switch, and the fuse. Um, this is as far as I want to go with the explanation. But you'll see here that for the contactor, it does have a 24 volt coil, 240 volt comes down to the top side of the contactor, pole number one, pole number two. Pole number one feeds down to the one, one lead of the motor, pole two feeds down to the other lead. These connections on the left and right of the contactor are the low voltage 24 volt connections. Here is your 24 volt output of the transformer, the secondary side of the transformer. So you just pretty much from here, need to figure out how to get 24 volts from the transformer to the contactor coil but we have to protect the 24 volt with the fuse we have to take off the fuse go through a switch and out of the switch would go to one side of the coil and of course the other side of the coil would be the other side of the transformer hopefully that gives you a good explanation on the third drawing well, on the fourth one it's a 120 volt power source. We're going to have a single pull single throw switch, a single pull double throw switch, a 120 volt single phase motor, and a fuse to protect the circuit. It says, and some HVAC circuits require more than one switch to be closed before a device will operate. When power is applied and switch number two, a single pull double throw switch is in position one, the motor will operate. When power is applied, and switch two single pull double throw switch is in position two the motor will only run if switch number one is closed so that's the instructions to get started with the drawing because they're saying that we need two switches and when you pull the switches out to put them here on the stage you you can identify the switch or you can change the uh, information on the switch from single pull single throw to single pull double throw double pull double throw uh, and I think there's even a three pull but for for this we needed to have a single pull double throw switch which is actually switch number two and a single pull single throw switch which is switch number one and we had to protect the circuit with a fuse if you look at this in a, uh, the graphical view and, and over here uh, in the upper right, you can actually turn the labels on and off and switch to a graphical view, which is what we have right here. To complete the circuit, we need to take power off of the power source here, go to the fuse. From the fuse, we need to go to this switch. And then one pull of the switch will go directly to the motor the other pole of this single pole double throw switch will go through switch number one and then to the motor. Hopefully that's a good explanation of what you need to do there. When you have the switch in this position, the motor gets power. When you put the switch in this position, it has to be in series with or the switch number one also has to be closed in order to get power to the motor. Uh, the last circuit is, is probably the most complicated one, a little bit more difficult. You have a 120 volt power supply, 24 volts uh, step down transformer, uh, single pull single throw switch, and a double pull double throw switch, two 120 volt motors, 
and two uh, 24 volt coil contactors. You have a fuse for the 120 volt circuit and a fuse for the 24 volt circuit. To start out with this, here is our 110 volt power source. Here is our fuse to protect the 110 volt power source. And really this is all of the 110 volt wiring that needs to be done. We have 110 volts for the primary side of the transformer. We have 110 volts on the um, poles of the contactor. And here is our neutral to the poles of the contactor. Our motors are hooked up. There's neutral and there's hot. And here there's neutral and hot. So now we've got to do the low voltage control circuit side. And again, I'm going to switch to show labels and view graphical. And what I've brought over is another fuse for the 24 volt circuit, a single pull, single throw switch, switch number one. And then I brought over another switch and I changed it to be a double pull, double throw switch. And you can see with the low voltage wiring coming off the transformer going through the fuse to switch number one. Switch number one feeds the first pole of this double pull, double throw switch. The pole is this side here, either pole one or pole two. And then the throw is either this throw here or the lower one here. So now when you look at this, I've got power if I close switch number one to this pole of the double pole double throw switch and I've got neutral to this pole of the double pole double throw switch and with the switch in the position as shown right now I want that to power contactor M1 and the coil of contactor M1 is 24 volts which is a, the power uh, secondary of this transformer so if I took and connected this connection right here on the double pull double throw switch to this connection here on the coil and then I connected the third one down which is a neutral to the opposite side of that same coil then when this switch closed and this switch was in the up position I should get the neutral coming out of this and the hot coming out of that to that coil and that means that for contactor number two I just need to connect the second one down here to one side of the coil and the bottom one here to the other side of the coil and then if I move this switch to the down position that would energize motor number two. Hopefully that's enough instruction to get you through to get this complete.